Um, the, the fact that the postmodernists dare to be Marxist is also something that I find, I would say, not so much intellectually reprehensible as morally repugnant. And one of the things that one of the things that the postmodernists, postmodern neo-Marxists continually claim is that they have nothing but compassion for the downtrodden. And I would say that anybody with more than a cursory knowledge of 20th century history who dares to claim simultaneously that they have compassion for the downtrodden and that they're Marxists are revealing either their an ignorance of history that's so astounding that it's actually a form of miracle or a kind of... <laughs> or a kind of malevolence that's so reprehensible that it's almost unspeakable because we already ran the equity experiment over the course of the 20th century and we already know what the, the Marxist doctrines have done for oppressed people all around the world and the answer to that mostly was imprison, enslave, uh, imprison them, enslave them, work them to death or execute them and as far as I can tell that's not precisely commensurate with any message of compassion. And so I don't think that the postmodern neo-Marxists have a leg to stand on ethically or intellectually or emotionally. Or, and I think that they should be gone after as hard as possible from an intellectual perspective, an informed intellectual perspective. And this is fundamentally a war of ideas. And that's the, that's the level of analysis that it should be fought upon. And not only is it a war of ideas, I think it's one that can be won because I think that the, especially the French intellectual postmodernists are a pack of, um, what would you call them, um, well, we could start with charlatans, that's a good one. Pseudo-intellectual would be good, resentful would be another, and then I would also consider them highly, they're highly deceptive in their intellectual strategies because almost all of them were Marxist student intellectuals and they knew by the time the Gulag Archipelago came out, and even before that, that the, 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 the nightmares of the Soviet Union and Maoist China were of such magnitude that they had completely invalidated any claim to ethical justification that the fundamental Marxist doctrines had ever managed to managed to manifest. And so it's a, it's a no-go zone as far as I'm concerned. Intellectually, the game's over. We've already figured out that there are finite constraints on interpretation, and we also understand why those exist and how they evolved. And from, from the perspective of, of political ar argumentation, there's absolutely no excuse whatsoever in the 21st century to put forth Marxist doctrines as if they're the, the bomb that's needed by the compassionate and the, by the bomb that's administered by the compassionate to the downtrodden. Sorry, tried that, didn't work. We've got 100 million corpses to prove it, and that's plenty for me. And if it's not enough for you, well, then you should do some serious thinking either about your historical knowledge or about your moral character. So that's the first thing.